On Saturday, September 17th, deputies from the Hesperia station received information from a parent of a potential threat at the Encore High School that's a charter school in the city of Hesperia. Some of that initial information was verified and confirmed through social media. Our deputies continued working on the investigation through the weekend, working closely with the school district. On Sunday, we were able to identify a potential suspect who is a student at Encore High School. That student was interviewed, but there was not enough information at that point to charge that student criminally, to make an arrest, or to further that investigation specific to that student. On Monday morning, our deputies and detectives were present at the school, interviewed a number of students as well as staff members in regards to these threats to gain any additional information that they may have as it related to this incident that began on Saturday. On Tuesday, our detectives were able to get enough information to secure a search warrant from a judge. That search warrant was served at the student's parents' homes. Two homes, our deputies discovered information that supported those threats that were originally described on Saturday by the parent and social media. Although we generally don't talk about information of evidentiary value, especially when the case is still pending, we believe it's important to share some of the detailed information with you that our investigators were able to obtain through the search warrants. One of which being a list of names, 33 names that were identified as potentials that could have been shot at the school. This threat all surrounded a shooting at the school that this student was going to be involved in. 33 names of students and teachers at that school were identified in that list. That student had limited access to firearms, as well as there was some information about explosives that was obtained during the search warrant. Nothing specific of evidentiary value, but information to suggest potential explosives. My daughter didn't, we've seen citizen patrols out there today when we went to go pick up my daughter, but we didn't know nothing until we got home and had the all call. Um, why would someone do this? Encore is so peaceful, you know? Everyone likes each other. Just very like nice, mellow school. I don't know who or why would do something, even threaten to do something like this. Our bomb squad along with dogs searched the Encore High School. Nothing was located to support any claims that a bomb was on that campus. The student in question has been arrested and is being held at the High Desert Juvenile Detention Center. The student has not been at school all week. The parents kept that student home until ultimately the student was arrested yesterday evening. There's no connection to terror that we've been able to determine as a result of our investigation. And the information we have at this point is he was the lone suspect in this plot. There certainly was the potential in this case for harm, and he had the intent and, and capability based on what we know today to carry out an attack at that school. Had it have not been for that parent reporting that information to us on Saturday, the investigation wouldn't have begun, and it's no telling at this point how or if he would have been able to pull off an attack at that school, but that plot is very detailed, and he was very well set on doing something at the Encore High School. Didn't know how um, serious the, the threat was until this morning. And this morning we've been working with the, the different agencies within San Bernardino to just make sure that everything was built up. The, the student will not re be returning to our campus. I'm sorry. Did, this did is your... my kid's life, man. Even though you found out on Sunday, you should have told parents. I would have kept my kid home until today. It's I not heard. fair that you didn't tell us as parents. I, I, I understand that you're a parent of a student. And you have all the confidence in the world because you're there. I send my kid to you, you know, every day, and I really would have appreciated something to be said on Sunday. It wouldn't have thrown me in a panic. 
I'm not a panicky mom. Good. It wouldn't have thrown me in a panic. I just would have kept his butt home until I knew that it was okay. Our investigators and Hesperia did an incredible job putting this case together and getting the information and documentation and evidence they needed to arrest and ultimately the district attorney will charge this juvenile with this crime.